Measuring the angle between two planes is a little bit trickier than measuring an angle between two lines, but it's still possible to do it on a stereo net. Um, so to start with, we want both of our planes plotted already. In this case, our first plane has a strike of 20 degrees and dips 20 to the southeast. And our second plane has a strike of 240 degrees and dips 80 to the northwest. To measure the angle between these two planes, we want to actually measure that angle in a plane that's perpendicular to both of them. And we're going to do that by first plotting the poles to both of the planes. So to plot a, po plot a pole to a plane, you start by lining up that plane with a great circle so that the strikes are at north and south, and then counting 90 degrees across the equator and making a dot. And notice that that dot is not on the plane itself. So this is the pole to a plane striking 20 degrees and dipping 20 to the southeast. Then we're going to do the same thing for our second plane. I'm going to line that plane up with its strikes at north and south, and it's going to lie across a great, along a great circle. And then we're going to count 90 degrees along the equator and then make a second dot. And that is the pole to the plane striking 240 degrees and dipping 80 to the northwest. Then to measure an angle between these two dots, we're going to line both of those dots up so they lie on the same great circle. And we can trace the great circle that contains those. Um, this great circle, by the way, is also a plane that's perpendicular to both of the two planes that we've plotted. So it's kind of a special orientation. You might be interested in that for other reasons. Then we're going to count the angle between those. It looks like 8, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96 degrees. And the angle between the poles of the planes is the same as the angle between the planes. One thing to keep in mind is that there's always two possible angles between intersecting planes, one obtuse angle and one acute angle. Um, we've just measured the obtuse angle. If you want to find the acute angle, you want to subtract the obtuse angle from 180 degrees.